Once a sport only for the privileged in Sudan, the game of tennis is drawing interest from all walks of life in the capital of Khartoum. Tennis was played solely by the British during their occupation of Sudan, yet the likes of Yahya Adam, a coach since 1995, can't see any reason why Sudan can't produce stars of the sport. After I moved into the tennis club, I spent about six years having no idea about the sport. Then there was a tournament in America, which I watched on TV. There were players such as Serena Williams and other stars. I didn't know anything then, nothing about how to hold the racket, nor the scoring system. After that, I said to myself, why can't I play as well? Adam's position affords him to socialize with the rich and famous of Sudan, such as the president's assistant, Abdul Rahman al Sadiq al Mahdi. Tennis is not a sport for the wealthy in Sudan, neither do I think it's a sport for the privileged in the rest of the world. It's almost a popular game nowadays, and all countries are competing to host tournaments. With the enthusiastic approach of Adam and al Mahdi, there's every hope that one day the next tennis king could come from the courts of Khartoum.